Hello guys, welcome to your own channel I live for coding and here I am your friend Ronit Mukherjee. So guys today's topic is that how to set up a demo API server to start working on your front end. So guys many a times there is a need that we need the uh, servers and backend ready to deliver us the APIs. Uh, so that we can write the front-end code. So this is a very common problem which we face that many times we are uh, developing our code and the backend is not ready to deliver us the APIs and working APIs, but we need to uh, integrate the APIs and get our code completed. So in this scenarios, what we do is that many times we write the static JSON that we uh, try to configure that we try to write the code and everything we do on the basis of that particular JSON or we do some uh, create some local file of JSON and that we try to fetch as a get or get API. So like that we try to adjust and proceed with our code guys. So but today I will tell you a trick a way and a good very a very good online software through which you can create uh, the required json apis with which you can start working on your api so guys you can create a fake a mock apis online publish it online and you can write your code as an original code so nothing has to be changed later apart from the url which will be provided by you by your backend so guys you can start and you can write your code everything as it is using any of the rest uh, clients like axios or fetch or normal ajax jquery ajax so using all these things you can write the uh, code at your client end and start working on your site so guys so before i tell you what that tool how to use it how to integrate it so if you haven't liked this video please do like it. If you haven't subscribed the channel, then please do subscribe the channel and share this video if you'd like this video. Okay guys, so let's start today's topic, how to set up a mock API without the server. Okay, so guys, the tool which we will use is this, it's Bceptor. So it's an online tool. So you have not to install anything on your end. You do not need any configuration. You do not need to install anything. It's very easy and very quick. So it's uh, bceptor, https bceptor.com. You have to just go to the site, create your user, and then create an endpoint. So this endpoint is a unique endpoint which you can create for your uh, testing purpose. Like for example, uh, let me tell you that uh, for example, my project which I'm working on his uh, name is I live for coding. So I can create a unique URL like I live for coding dot free dot dot com. So this bceptor dot com will provide me a unique URL on which I can run all my API. So guys in later when we will integrate the actual uh, JSON API URLs or RESTful API URLs provided by the backend team or backend team we will just replace that URL and nothing else will need to be changed guys so let's proceed creating a endpoint so I will be creating an endpoint named I live for coding dot free dot bceptor dot com okay so it looks awesome that the following endpoint is set up now we can hit the urls here guys so it's not just one json you can create but you can create all the json and set up multiple urls with multiple uh, http verbs and methods and set up everything on your front end without waiting for the backend to be ready guys so this is a very common problem where we face that the backend is not ready to provide us the json provide us the api so we need we have to wait and write some static codes and then again we need to change so without waiting for them we can write our code by creating the uh, mock apis here we can just close the contract a basic contract with the backend team that what will be the request data what will be the response data and we can create the urls here okay guys 
and nothing else will change just the base url will change okay so after you have completed up to this step what we have to do is that we have to go to this mocking rules okay so we have to as we need to create rules we will go to this mocking rules so it will say that everything is done now we need to create new rules so i will create a new rule here now see it's just saying that what method so guys it doesn't restrict you to just hit the uh, get apis but you can create all your post put delete patch and every other apis which you wish that which you will be uh, expecting from the backend team so suppose i want to create a get api and it exactly matches like it's something like ab about the users so let me name it slash users so see guys you don't have to change anything later just we will change the base a url which is that i live for coding dot dot com we will change that and other thing which all the url which we have discussed with the our backend team or the team which is providing the apis it will remain same suppose we have discussed that the to fetch all the users we will call the our base url slash users then we will create it here users now just to give it a real uh, feel i want to give it a, a delay that it takes around uh, 20 millisecond and it will return 200 and suppose it will return the headers so we will we can provide all the headers which we are expecting that some special headers which we have discussed in the contract that you will that the backend team will provide some extra headers so we can mention all those things here for now for now this example i'm just leaving it as it is and considering the response body so now i will create the response body so suppose i'm creating a json object where it will provide status let the status is success and it provides the data which is an array of users a, a single user is an object let me give it a name id let's let's have id name this is name and more more uh, deep you can create anything like for example you can say that friends and this friends will be again an array I'm just giving an example that you can create any n level any deep level uh, json apis here so there is no restriction of creating the api so for now i'm just creating something like this let us give it an id of 10 name sakshi and like this so we can create a data like this okay so now let's save this rule okay guys so i am saving this rule here now let's see it's done and no other thing we have to do guys so it's already done we can directly hit this api and it's running guys so you do not have to install any software configure anything on your local system just go to this bcipter.com it's an amazing amazing website which i have found to uh, go through and overcome this type of problem where the api from the back end is not ready so i have created this and this is done no other configuration no other thing we have to do just let us let us try to use this okay so let me show you okay so suppose i want to use the axios as a url as a restful client so let me add uh, axios first okay so i've added axios now let me call let me create a function to get the users function get users okay let's create this as an async
okay let me make it a simple one first then i will tell you i'm not introducing the async term let's creating a simple uh, function get users um, let me call it using axios dot get the url let's create the uh, let me set the base url so const uh, base api base url let me set it so we will set it as this one this is our base url so i will save the base url here okay guys now let's see so this is the uh, our function okay and const api endpoint endpoint as slash users guys let's see how quickly we will deliver this you just keep on seeing it so i will use api base url then i will call endpoint okay now this is the endpoint and finally i will call then on it then response and as you know the data which comes is inside the response to data response to data and it's like this okay guys so now let me call this function get users and see the your response so I run and see guys we have got the response here so it's same as we said so you can see that it's so easy so when uh, as you can see that whenever the backend is ready and they provide us the URL so what we can do is that we can just update this value and if there is any change in this endpoint you can just update this value and nothing else will be changed so we can continue working on it from here onwards like we want to print the console.log users friends so what we will do is that uh, simply we will write uh, const users is equal to response to data dot data okay guys this is something like this and now we will print users here okay guys let me show you what do we get so it's showing undefined cause something like this call it and it's like this so guys we can see that uh, here the response is in the form of uh, string but uh, we can get it in the format of the object also so that's not problem but for now I'm just parsing it JSON dot pass okay I'm just uh, passing this data, okay? Sponsor data. Okay, let me see, let me see. I guess there is some problem in the JSON we have created. Okay, let me validate it. It's not a problem, just we can go directly JSON verifier and open any json verifier you can validate the json so guys you can see a problem here that we haven't enclosed this okay and it's a valid json now guys so it's very easy so if there is any changes also so there is no problem you can directly go to this and press edit okay and i will replace this completely 
and save the rule okay so now let me move it here and run it again so guys you can see now we are getting a proper json object okay so for the data we know that the data is inside the data okay in our data you can see see this is friends and all the data we are getting here so we are getting all the data so guys you can see that uh, we can proceed from here in our normal programming that print and all that uh, means we have got the data so you can see that we have received the object and now we can proceed our programming so we do not have to wait for the uh, server to be ready to proceed with our a actual api calls and real api calls we can write our actual code and without waiting for the api to be ready so guys it's not about just uh, that uh, we can use the get also but uh, we can use but we can use a normal uh, post api also so i can show you let me uh, show you that how can we create a post api it's very simple and uh, so i'm just uh, pasting a code for you guys function add add user okay i'm just pasting it and i'm keeping the url as this only okay and this is the data and let me just copy this okay now i will just copy this thing you know you can set the urls in the api this exists also that i'm not doing for now but you can get it done so i'm just copying the data which we will send okay and i will show you how to create a new url so i'm creating a new url called user which will be used to create a user okay so this is the uh thing which we will be sending okay so it doesn't matter that what we are sending but uh, we can see that we what we need in response is much required so let me keep it status as success and in data we are receiving the id of the user created okay so let me give it a one it's so simple so guys we have created our new url and you can go to here and let me add a user to be run this function also so i have uh, console logged it here response also so that you guys can see the response let me clear it and give it more space okay so i've run the code and guys see we have received the uh, data and see this is our data where we have sent this uh, object okay where the data one and status is success so guys see we have implemented uh, the uh, our code our front end code with the actual implementation of the apis and we can proceed with uh, completing this code without waiting for the backend to be ready so guys so in today's uh, video we have learned how to quickly set up uh, how to quickly set up a mock api server and get our code started without waiting for the actual uh, apis being created so we can directly work on a mock api with the actual expected uh, response and the code will be done as per the normal api calls so guys if you like this video then you can like and share this video and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then quickly press the subscribe and the bell button and stay tuned with i live for coding okay guys so we will end this topic here if you have any doubt you can comment to me and i will be very happy to answer you guys okay guys then we will meet on the next topic till then take care and bye bye